Monday, February 9th, about 11.30 in the morning, and we're going to go back and check out that other bay at the best car wash in Eureka, as promised. It looks like it's working. I'd say it is. So, actually, it looks like it's just the opposite of last time. This one's working, and the uh, DNS Odyssey in the other one is broken. Welcome. To pay for your car wash, please use one of the displayed payment options. Okay, so we have the best for 10, the better for 8, the good for 6, and of course, we'll get the 10. You have selected the wash and hot wax car wash. Please deposit $10. See if the card reader works. Please insert card. I did insert the card, and it didn't work. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and... You have selected the wash and hot wax car wash. Please deposit $10. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do it cash and see if that'll work since I actually have a $10 bill. Hopefully that works. Notice that the blow dryer doesn't work as stated on here. If you would like a receipt, press refund now. I don't need a receipt. So let's head in here. So yeah, it looks like we have an Oasis Typhoon. And it's still talking back there. <laughs> All right. This is a really cool system, so I've actually been looking forward to filming it. And we will... There we go. You can see we have one arm back here, and then three more in the front. There's so many things going on here, it's actually hard to film them all. So right now we're getting our pre-soak on both sides and across the back simultaneously. section is coming up and the front and back are going across again I guess the back is doing high pressure rinse or something maybe it was blasting along the bottom okay now the two the front are going. Uh, it's a sort of drizzling pre-soak on the car. I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. Hmm. Yeah, it's like barely even getting the car at all. Not exactly sure. Okay, now we're going along the blasting the bottom of the two side ones. Independent, and the back one is independent. There's a lot of moving parts in here. Oh, it's actually we're getting high pressure rinse on the front and the sides. 
and the back. You can see you have those little things up on top to go back and forth to get the top of the car. Now we're going triple foam through the center thing. I don't really know what to call it. <laughs> That's a nice coating. Wow, look how dark it got in here. Can't even see. That's a really nice coating. On the back was going at it too. sitting there. I guess now it's repositioning. And the back is coming forward. And now it just kind of got left there in the middle. going on. So it just kind of left the middle one there to drain on top of the car. Really? No? Did I get a spot free rinse? I don't even know. I really thought there was going to be another pass of something. And now it's just like drizzling whatever was left in the middle section on my car. I don't know why it towed that thing to the middle and left it there. Yeah, I don't think that was spot free water, but I could be wrong. Um... And of course the dryers aren't working, but I knew that coming in. Hmm. Well. No real way of knowing how this is going to turn out until this water dries. So I'll give you an update when I get back to my apartment. Instead of just doing it right here on the lot. Because once we see how this water dries, we'll know whether it was spot free or not. So I'll check in with you back at the apartment.